What's going on everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, I'm gonna be giving you a tutorial on how to fix the Minecraft exit code one invalid Java runtime configuration. So the first thing I want you to do is to download the latest version of Java. You can download Java 17 or Java 18. This video is only for people who have Java 17 and Java 18 installed because you will get this error, error if you do not have Java 17 or Java 18 installed. So all the links will be in the description. The link to download Java will be in the description. So once you have Java 17 installed or 18, it doesn't matter which one, you just need a new version of Java or if you already have the new version of Java and you're still getting this exit code, then this video is for you. Now, quick disclaimer, if this happens to you, you're pretty much screwed. <laughs> what, what I mean by that is you're gonna lose all your worlds, you're gonna lose your mods, everything like that. You will not lose the Minecraft launcher though. Um, so yeah, this is the first thing you are going to want to do if you have this problem. You're going to want to go to your... your, your first, you're going to want to close out of the Minecraft launcher if you're still in that. Then what you're, wanna, what you're going to want to do is hit Windows plus R to bring up this run thing. Then what you're going to do is you're going to type in percent app data percent like that. And then you're going to hit OK. And what this is going to do is this is going to bring up these files right here. And you're going to look for this dot Minecraft file. You're going to click it and you're going to click delete. That's it. It's as simple as that. You're just going to click the dot Minecraft file and click delete. I'm not going to delete it because I have all my saves. This did happen to me recently and it was it's so annoying. Um, I couldn't, this, the why, why I'm making this video is because I could not find a single tutorial on how to do this. So there you go. That's all you have to do. And you will still have the Minecraft launcher. So all you got to do is reopen the Minecraft launcher and then re-download Forge, re-download all your, all those mods. I'll leave a link to Forge in the description and I'll leave a link to Java in the description as well so that you can download that. I hope this video was useful, and yeah, I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace out, everybody.